Hello everyone, it's Amit Power again here and I am going to show you how to find now the median antibrachial cutaneous nerve, nerve that comes from the brachial plexus that is responsible for innervation of the medial part of the forearm over here. Great for any incision along the, along the medial aspect or surgery. I've used it before in combination for surgery for ulna on, from the ulna on ulna shortening surgery. I do it in combination with an ulna nerve block. So let me show you how I find it. I'm using, um, this happens to be a Butterfly IQ Plus. It's a high frequency linear setting I'm using it on. I'm gonna place it so relatively high up now in my axilla. And the idea is I wanna get a view on the screen. Hopefully you can see a view now of the um, brachial artery and the, uh, sorry, the axillary artery uh, and the median nerve. And now what I want to identify in the superficial tissue at this level is the medial antibrachial cutaneous nerve from a proximal location. So I'm going to look now in the center of the screen as I start to slide away now, hopefully you're starting to see a structure relatively consistently superficially in the screen. It's right in the center of the screen now. That is actually the medial antibrachial cutaneous nerve. Let me go back up again for you. You'll watch that structure in the center of the screen. We're going to go back up. It's going to come and it's going to dive down. It's going to lie really close to the median nerve, which is often why you get it when you do an auxiliary brachial plexus block, but it's possible to miss it. Now sliding down again. So you're gonna see this structure lying right in the middle of the screen. So I'm trying to be really consistent with keeping it in the center of the screen. Look how I'm sliding down right the way towards the anticubital fossa. And as I'm coming down towards the medial aspect of the anticubital fossa, you'll notice a vein becomes visible. That vein that becomes visible there, that's a brachial, sorry, that's the basilic vein. Uh, I'm gonna go back up again, so there, Right in the center of the screen is the medial antibrachial cutaneous nerve. You can see as I'm approaching the antecubital fossa, you could block it at that point, or I'm going to come further down. It's lying literally right next to that basilic vein and right at the antecubital fossa. And to orientate yourself, if I slide the probe a little bit more laterally towards the center of the antecubital fossa, you're going to see here we've got the brachial artery in the median nerve. That's lying over there. I come a bit more medial. And there's my basilic vein. And hopefully now you can still see the medial antibrachial cutaneous nerve lying right there. So if you've got any surgery on the medial part or the ulnar side of the forearm, this is a great block for analgesia for cutaneous innovation there. And actually, if you look very close, you can see small branches coming off there. But right in the center of the screen there, that is the medial antibrachial cutaneous nerve. As I come higher up the arm, you'll see it floating right there in the fascia. So right in the center of the screen, right above the vein there. Hope you found that useful. Coming up next is a video of one of these blocks being performed. Here you can see the antecubital fossa. I'm highlighting here the brachial artery and medial to the brachial artery is the median nerve. Even more medial is the basilic vein. You can see in between the basilic vein and the median nerve lies the medial antibrachial cutaneous nerve. As I zoom out here, you can see how that lies in close proximity to the basilic vein, a fair way up the arm. You can see median nerve, the medial antibrachial cutaneous nerve, and the basilic vein. You can see the part of the forearm that the medial antibrachial cutaneous nerve innervates. The probe is now placed over the antecubital fossa. The median nerve is in the center of the screen. The needle is going to come in over the brachial artery uh, and then head towards the basilic vein and the medial antibrachial cutaneous nerve. Small aliquots of local anesthetic are injected. You can see as the needle approaches the basilic vein, in, the injection pressure causes the vein to collapse. But you can clearly see outlined here the medial antibrachial cutaneous nerve about three cc's of local anesthetic injected, and then scanning proximally towards the axilla, and then all the way back down again, just to see that medial antibrachial cutaneous nerve highlighted. You see the needle come into view now, as I'm coming back towards where it is, a small half a mil of local anesthetic. The needle is then withdrawn, and the probe is moved to the ulnar nerve in the forearm to complete the procedure by doing an ulnar nerve block.